quite enough of that. Clearly you haven't heard of us. Hang on. Our slices are trying to tap the line. Got it. That's fantastic. I can't believe you made it into Camp 27. On your own, I mean. We've gotten plenty of guys in the other way. Don't let it go to your head, though. There's no telling what the Empire's hiding in there. When I'm done, there won't be anything but bones. Ha! Huh. From your lips to the Emperor's ears, my friend. Now we've got no specs on this place. Nothing. But anyone in the cells, assume they're one of ours and spring them. Your main target is Akko Domi. He's a Jedi. Led the rescue effort on Solace that kept the Empire from enslaving half the planet, but got caught himself. I'll save him. You don't need to convince me. The Republic's lucky to have you. Now send a team to wait outside the shields. They can back you up if you need it on the way out. Good luck.
sure. Just as I programmed. That's quite enough of that. Just isn't your day.
Please don't kill me. I, I can help you. Whatever you're looking for, I, I can find it. I've come to free the Jedi. Akodomi? Are you really asking to... Uh, never mind, that, that's who you want. I, I can summon him, no, no problem. R right here. <laughs> now I'm, um, I'm just going to wait uh, over... Who comes before me? I am Akodomi, the Lord of Camp 27. No one seeks me out. Soldiers beg with their final breath to perish, rather than to look upon my face. Come back to the Republic. Turn your back on what the Empire made you. How tiresome. Will you offer me mercy now? Healing? A chance to turn back to the light? I've been here six years. I've seen your Republic heroes turn on each other like dogs for a scrap of meat. I've seen human nature at its core, and there is no light there. There may still be a way to heal you. It will be a pleasure to see that naivete melt away beneath the torturer's lash. Slaughter him, my students! Slowly. I feel the darkness in you, the joy you felt at my apprentice's deaths. Will you kill me as well? Or does your hatred demand more? Would you rather see me scream? Draw it out for days while I beg you to end it? Return, and you can be the man you once were. Fine. Make your empty gestures. Save my life! Inviting me into the Republic is like bringing poison into your flesh. Sooner or later, it will kill you. We'll take him from here. There's a Jedi healer arriving on the next starship. Be careful. Never take your eyes off him. He's still a danger. No one can be vigilant forever. And when they let down their guard, all will learn the magnitude of your failure. <laughs> all right, boys. Gag him and drag him. Let's get out of here. Gag him and drag Ah! 
kill. That's hard enough of that. That's quite enough of that. Very good, Jedi. You survived both my Morgukai and this dank little town. You on par taught you well. Surrender. I want a peaceful resolution. Tell your followers to stand down. No, no, not so fast. We were talking about Yuan. Has dear Yuan ever told you about Malachor III? The truth, I mean. During our mission, we had quite the affair. She was something in the day. And her advances became pff, irresistible. It's immaterial. You're trying to distract me. It won't work. But the truth is so very important. Our passion, it paved the way for darkness to enthrall the others and destroy our friend, Parcanus Tark. Oh, hmm, that memory tormented me for years. But now I'm free. Free of guilt, free of fear. Let me help you. I have the ability to shield you from the plague and stop this insanity. Fane, if the Hot Cartel finds out about you, the Republic's finished out here. This has to stop. My, my. You got there in Cedrax to care about something, Jedi. That's a gift I want on my side. Now, serve me and... Ah! What the... Uh, what is that thing? A little trifle of Exotech. To ensure you won't be influencing my Jedi friend. Ugh, oh, my head. I should have known you'd bring one of your damn toys. No other I didn't want to hurt you, but you left me no choice. How dare you? You think you can challenge me? <laughs> Just as I programmed. <laughs> Enough, I yield. But kill me. Kill a thousand, it doesn't matter. Lord Vivacar will never stop. Lord, Lord Vivacar? Tell me, Fane. Who is he? Where can I find him? Like darkness, Vivacar is everywhere. In everything. His condition's deteriorating. We should act quickly. Good. Vane's already down. That saves us some trouble. Vane is in my charge. Explain what you want. I'm an official representative of the Hut Cartel, and that man belongs to us. The guiding hand has gone too far. Jedi don't get to interfere with our business, not without consequences. Hand Fane over, or the Republic sees what unhappy Huts can do. Fane belongs to the Jedi, not the Hut Cartel. If the Huts don't get him, every Republic agent on Nar Shaddaa will find their lives suddenly complicated. The Order is powerful, and we don't forget our friends. Compassion would be... rewarded. 
Favor from the Jedi is a valuable commodity. I guess we can negotiate with your council over the details. Okay, Fane's yours. But we will collect, Jedi. We honor our agreements. I'll ensure it personally. I know your face. I know who to find. Goodbye. We made a break in the darkness, but it is only momentary. Stay calm. It'll be all right. I feel better. Much better. Wait, you, you look pale. Are, are, are you all right? You woke me from that nightmare. I... I've done some terrible things, haven't I? Anything you can tell me about Lord Vivicar would help make amends. Vivicar? He... It's all slipping away. I... I'm sorry. All of this. But fighting the Hut Cartel wasn't wrong. Jedi should battle evil, not appease it. The deal I struck was for the greater good, not to appease anyone. I've never been that cool-headed. I envy you. Once I've freed the gang leaders, I'll return to Tython. I'm sure C.O. Bacarn is already preparing to lecture me. Do consider listening this time, Fane. <laughs> it might save you some tribulation in the future. Maybe so. Thank you. Both of you. I owe you my sanity and my life. Congratulations on your handling of Fane. Not to mention the Hut Cartel. Theron, honey, someone's been calling our offices. Master Sile Bakarn of the Jedi Council, asking for our friend to call back. Master Sio should know what happened right away. I suppose. I should get back to my offices. Genius never takes a vacation. This was fun. Like old times with Sio and Fane. Anyway, glad I could be of assistance. Take care, Jedi. Long had a slice into the intercom at Camp 27. I heard everything. Akodomi is still called Savior by so many people, but he had so much evil inside him. Perhaps the Jedi Council can still find something left of who he used to be. We had to try. It's giving him that chance that makes us better than the Empire. Where they offer their prisoners torture, we should offer ours balm. Eventually, their people may see which is better. Thank you for shutting down that factory of horrors. There are free men of the Republic who'll bless your names each night. We will turn this place. I swear it. Nar Shaddaa must join the Republic. So the Empire can never hide such monstrosities again. Thank you. 
say hi to you. I am not sure why I'm a game is doing that. pads are currently open for business. Have a safe and pleasant stay. Leaving quite a mark on Narshada, Master Jedi. But I'm you're leaving quite a mark on Narshada, Master Jedi. But I'm afraid your services are still needed. Name's Dira Uliet, Senate Special Liaison to the Hut Cartel. I work with huts who are friendly to the Republic. <laughs> yes, they do exist. An old pal of yours is making good on his promise to aid our cause. Barish Fanak Toro, remember him? A gangster turned legitimate businessman. Or so he says. He's working overtime to rehabilitate his image. We're liking what we see. <laughs> Through his cartel sources, Barish obtained classified Imperial intel. The enemy is training mercenaries to conduct sneak attacks on our civilian forces. The Empire will deny involvement while the mercenary army destroys us. We need to shut down the enemy's operations. Gentlemen, All of them. Once again, the Force has guided me where I can do the most good. I hope you're prepared to offer more than sage advice. Barish is standing by. He wanted to speak with you personally. If the Hot Cartel formed an alliance with the Republic, we could easily defeat the Empire. Your information is most appreciated. We'll take things from here. SIS reconnaissance located an enemy industrial complex swarming with heavily armed mercenaries. If that army is unleashed on us, we're done. Our only hope is scattering those mercenaries and destroying the Imperial interrogation facility. Defeat the enemy before it can mount any attack. I was looking forward to some R&R. Stomping the Empire with a beautiful woman sounds relaxing. Then I may have to broaden your horizons. First things first. Take a speeder to the Empire's industrial complex. Look for the droid that isn't shooting at you. That's your contact. Enough of this time. 
vehicle pads are currently open for business. Have a safe and pleasant stay. Take a pee at Gafur. How can you? Ouch. But hey, third time's the charm, right? Combat sequence engaging, weapons arming, war, war, warning, systems failure, remote override prohibiting mayhem protocol activation, Jedi target will be stored in memory to be terminated at a future date. Ah, thank you for warning. It's polite of you to inform me of my imminent demise. Settle your affairs, Republic scum. Your end is coming soon. Okay. That's enough, droid. Vocabulator switched off. Sorry about that. I had a little trouble overriding that stubborn droid's hollow emitter. I'm your contact, Republic SIS. I wish I could meet you in person, but I'm at a comm station in the middle of Imperial Intelligence headquarters. Long story. Are you insane? If they trace this signal, you're dead. My job is to maintain droids like this one. It's a perfect cover. Nobody's watching me. I think. My security access here is limited, but I've been able to coordinate with a resistance cell working inside the Imperial Factory Zone. Those people are practically slaves. They're ready to revolt. They'll help you pinpoint critical Imperial targets, stop the enemy before they can attack us. You're sure these workers aren't leading us into a trap? You know how the Empire treats any species other than human. Believe me, they want us to win. I'm uploading the profiles of people you should talk to. You'll find them nearby. Oh, gotta cut the channel. Good luck. Vocabulator functions have re, re resumed with limited language options. Have a caring day, Republic citizen! I'm sure that decision can wait until you relax a little. 
Them you got hot blood on me. Did what you had to I do. suppose that's one way of paying the bills. It's good you came to me. I will ease their pain.
Mommy Levik Bakmanuk, Kampulja Rakakin. Be careful. The Empire will no doubt sweep the area. Come Pedum Jukaki Umluk. I find that most intriguing. I'd like to help any way I can.
Also, Idon Kenneste as Igas. You are most welcome. Folios. is awaiting you on the hollow. I was able to monitor some of your progress. You have put the Empire in full panic mode. They're reeling from the damage you inflicted. Are you safe? Sending messages from Imperial Intelligence Headquarters is a big risk. No choice. We've got a new problem that can't wait. I recently discovered a hidden annex of the Empire's Shadowtown prison complex. When I alerted SIS, they sent teams to investigate. The Empire's keeping Republic POWs in the Annex. Your attack threw the Imperials into a frenzy. They're about to execute our people. Who are they? Who are they? Why would the Empire keep Republic prisoners on Nar Shadda? Are these soldiers who fought in the war? We've been fighting in the shadows ever since the Treaty of Coruscant. These POWs are spies and saboteurs. I need you to infiltrate the prison Annex. Get our people out of there. This droid has supplies our agents will need. Deliver the supplies to one of my remote droid units and it'll... Uh -oh. oh no. Imperial intelligence is onto me. Are you sure you're not just being paranoid? I've been slicing my superior's private logs. His latest entries are all about hunting for a mole inside his division. After everything that's happened today, I have to be one of his prime suspects. What do I do? Don't wait to be discovered. He'll kill you or worse. You've served the Republic well. It's time to come home. Slip out quietly. Get off Nar Shaddaa as fast as you can. Blast! There's so much more I could do here. But you're right. I'll use the chaos to cover my escape. Droid, hand over the supplies and provide coordinates to the prison annex turbo lift. I've reprogrammed an astromech unit down there. Find the astromech, deliver the supplies, and it will signal your contact. Logging off. I hope we see each other again. Okay. The turbo lift will take you directly to the prison annex. Good, good, good luck, Republic citizen.
Looky, looky. Fresh meat for the Shadowtown grinders. You too tough to chew? We'll see. Sorry, threw away my manners when I went undercover. Weeks, months ago. Agent Valand, that's me. The people here are crazy, you know. People? The Empire is preparing to execute Republic POWs. We need to free our people. Noble cause. Good way to die, as dying ways go. You brought the supply pack, right? Let's have a look. Ooh, detonite. And lots of it. <laughs> Did you know the Empire burned out SIS headquarters? Killed good agents, friends, and more. One good burn deserves another. How did the Empire find our spy base, much less destroy it? Dunno. All the people I could ask are dead. Doesn't matter. Blood calls out for blood. The Empire bought a superstructure from the huts. Nice place. Put all kinds okay. of important people inside. Leaders. But this building has weak spots. Figure this is enough detonite to gut the insides before they catch me. Go out with a bang. That's our enemy's tactic, not to mention suicide. Pull yourself together. Our people are in terrible danger. Take those charges and create a diversion. Keep Imperial security forces busy so we can free the POWs and cover their escape. Okay. Can tell you haven't been here long. Still an idealist. Mm -hmm. Fine, we play it your way. Okay. Set the Empire's tail on fire and let it chase itself. Could be fun. There are other agents nearby, optimists like you. I'll signal you're here to help. Okay. Don't be a stranger. can't have come at a worse time. It should be safe for the moment, I think. But it's only a matter of time before Carhel gives us all up. Everyone affiliated with the Republic needs to be out of here before they close the trap. Uh, butcher. I'm afraid I don't understand. The ground you're standing on is Imperial. This is where they stockpile their most dangerous prisoners and experiments. I'm Agent Jaza Wise, call sign Nutcracker. The Republic has stationed a few of us here. But one of our men was just captured. And with the tortures they use, it can't be long before he breaks. I wouldn't let a servant of the Republic suffer at the Empire's hands. I'm afraid Carhel is lost. It's those of us who still have our freedom that need help. The Empire's already searching for us. Only way to escape is to cause a distraction, but it's got to be massive. They have mad Sith locked up here. Captured aliens who were mutated by the dark side. Were they to escape? Right. Leave the Imperials to the mercies of their own prisoners. I like it. Thank you. I didn't know how we would manage this. Just go to the highest security cells you can find and let out whatever's in there. With luck, there won't be a guard left to search for us. Tell me when it's done, and I'll signal our men to escape.
Keep your head down. I hear one of the prisoners release a rancor from the lower cell block. This is quite the riot you've started. Oh. If the Imperials have a spare guard to chase us, I'll swallow my helmet. Good luck. Don't waste time talking. Get out before it gets any more dangerous. <laughs> Thank you for your concern. Now if you'll excuse me. Call sign Two Moon. Mission abort. Return to base one. Call sign Starkiller. Mission abort. Return to base one. Best prices this side of the galaxy. You check. Appreciate your business. Steve, Panago Kucha, Pamichis, Pap. Who's TC-93? Motame Scott was the Michak near a Disa Slim. Are you saying droids can grow? They can become our equals? Mama Otfa good at your pap. Calm down. We can recover your droid, but I need you focused. Kongi Skarchich. I will take care of it. But they do scook at the chos unawa.
DC-93, Karina sent me. Perform a selective flush, TC. I need the plan safe, not your memory destroyed. DC agreed to a selective memory flush. He's still sentient and I recovered the SIS plans. <laughs> TC hated abandoning you. He only left because he knew you could never be together. <laughs>
Well, thank goodness you're alive. According to the droid, your mission was a complete success. POWs are escaping to Republic transports. You've won the war for Nar Shadda, forced the Empire to fall back. You're not used to retreating. Uh, where are you? What's your status? Are you alright? I'm about to board a shuttle for Coruscant. Think I got out of Imperial Intelligence just in time. Thanks for convincing me to leave. You should report back to the spaceport. Let them know we won. It's been an honor. Right. Logging off.
Yeah, sorry about that, guys. My wife. Yeah, my wife got that. <laughs> Select an available travel route. It's over. Our people are safe from the Empire's threat. Hear that, Barish? How does it feel to back the winning team? Respect easily becomes fear in the weak-minded. The cartel must see us as allies, not potential rivals. This is a major victory for the Republic. It's a shame we can't go public with it. Not yet, anyway. Your actions here may go unreported, right. but you've certainly earned our sincere appreciation. Please accept this gift in recognition of your service. I'd rather have the pleasure of your company. You could show me the nice parts of Nar Shaddaa. Winning makes you bold, doesn't it? <laughs> I like that. Say goodbye, Barish. <laughs> Now it's just us. Follow me. Okay. I don't know about you, but I'm enjoying Narshada oh. a lot more now. It's a shame I have to leave. I was just getting to know you. Maybe someday we'll finish what we started. Take care of yourself. Over there, 
Hey, Jedi. You who? Ah, here he is. The gallant Jedi. You took your time. I thought you two had gone back to your offices. After our thrilling sojourn in Shadowtown, I came back to all the contracts piled up on my desk. Humdrum. Tedious. Boring. And I realized... Nar Shaddaa's charms have staled. I want adventure, excitement, to see something of the galaxy. So, in exchange for a single billet on your ship, you can have the tech expertise of Dr. Theron Sedrax exclusively at your disposal. What do you think? Holiday. You aren't leaving Holiday behind, are you? Wherever my Theron goes, I go. I promise I don't take up any space. This software shell is quite slimming. Now, how could you say no to her, Jedi? Just one thing. I call first on any exotech or lovely females we happen to encounter. Theron, you're so naughty. I don't know why I put up with you. Because you're a paragon of virtue and tolerance, my dear. Now, shall we go? What a weirdo. I've heard a report from Nar Shaddaa. The Guiding Hand has disbanded, and the Hut Cartel has withdrawn its vendetta. Your handling of the cartel was extremely impressive. Okay. Diplomatic skill under pressure is a rare gift. Now, perhaps Duras Fane can be rehabilitated. I hope so. Maybe Master Fane will be wiser after this. He often shrugs off the lessons life gives him. With luck, this one will stick. I am glad your mission on Nar Shaddaa was a success. But now I have an urgent matter that requires your attention. We received a distress signal from the Republic starship Karida, and we suspect it's plague-related. Another master? Is there a Jedi Master on board? No, not a Master. A Jedi Passenger. She has lost her mind and killed several people. Of particular interest, the Jedi in question is Lorana Fane. Master Duras Vane's daughter. Vane is on his way back to Tython, but I've asked him to join us over Hollow. I thought he should be kept informed. I should hope so, Sile. Being a Jedi doesn't stop me from caring about my own daughter. The plague genetic? Do you think the plague is spread through families? No, but this can't be a coincidence either. Vivekar chooses his targets for a reason. You will dock in the ship's forward section, where Lieutenant Bella Wynn and her men have managed to find safety. Find Lorana Fane. Shield her if you can, and see what you can learn. Go with care. Thank you, Quizen, but I won't take money for trophies you claimed. A Trandoshan in Wookiee hunting grounds? You're fortunate to have all your limbs. I've heard that vicious Tarentatech hunt in the Kashyyyk Shadowlands. You must have something to show for such a hunt, besides a scar. Right, 
Bezade Bohargas Kipagor Nakvrak Vek. There's no tremor in the force that I can perceive. Gumrachas Obelisk Kipagrak. I never thought I'd say it, but good riddance to Nar Shada. Nobody on that wretched moon has a speck of imagination. Take my little business. If I wasn't building devices to cheat the casinos, I was being nagged for new weapons. So being sought out and admired for creating wonders of technology, that meant nothing to you? Well, I suppose there were compensations. Now, we get to travel in the most darling ship. Although, I can't bear your ship's computer architecture. It's so frumpy. Mind if I give it a little flair? Mm. Yeah, go ahead. If it makes you feel more welcome, go ahead. Oh, good. I know just where to start. That horrible algorithm for the hyperdrive. Holiday has quite the talent for making herself at home. <laughs> Better leave her to it. So, lead on, Jedi. Glad to share my skills with someone talented. We can spar any time.
Best prices this side of the galaxy. You check. Appreciate your business. Take a look at the stock. What can I get you? Appreciate your business. Best prices this side of the galaxy. You check. Appreciate your business.
Hold your fire, men! Hold your fire! It's the Jedi the Council sent. Sorry, Jedi. We're all a little on edge. Everyone okay? Are you doing all right? We're pretty shook up, but at least we're alive. No thanks to Lorana. She was a great passenger at first. Happy, smart, interested in the ship. But then we were hit by an Imperial ambush. Lorana fought them off. Almost died from her wounds. After a day or so, she started talking strange and... Okay. And then... Slaughter. What was she saying that seemed odd? Always the same thing. Darkness. The darkness is coming. But... Wait. That started later. After the ambush, we put out a call for medical assistance. And a Jedi Master answered. He healed her right up. He was... Odd, though. Had these... Horrible scars he kept covering. Never said his name. You know, Lorana was different after he left. Other Jedi are suffering from a similar illness. He could have given it to her. I don't think so. He healed her. She's as strong as ever. Stronger, even. It was a struggle, but we managed to trap her in the aft section. Okay. If I can just... Lieutenant Wynn, Lorana's slicing into the Carida systems. She's taking over the whole ship. She'll start shutting down life support soon. No! Jedi, please! You're the only one who stands a chance of stopping her! Do whatever you have to. Just don't let Lorana kill any more of my men! Maybe Lorana would listen to a fellow Jedi. Thank you. I'll release the lockdown for a moment to let you in. But I won't risk Lorana getting out. There's a comm device back there. Contact me when you've taken care of her, and I'll release the lockdown again so you can leave. Good luck. What have we here? A little engineer poking around where he shouldn't? I wonder what this button does. <laughs> Was that the airlock? Silly me. Bye bye, little engineer. Lana, you're ill. You need help. <laughs> but I've never felt better in my whole life. The ship is nearly under my control. Isn't it wonderful? The darkness is coming, but it won't take me. Perhaps I can help you. We can stop the darkness together. Just listen to me first. I won't be fooled. You belong to the darkness. Lord Vivikar explained everything when he healed me. But you're not going to kill me, Jedi. 
I won't let you. I won't let the darkness take me. Go away or I'll open the airlock. I'd rather die than be taken. You don't want to release the airlock. You want to come to me. I want to come to you. I won't release the airlock. Take my lightsaber. Please don't let me hurt anyone else. This won't take long. What? What did you do? You look so weak. But Lord Vivekar's voice is gone. The voice in my head. How did you do it? A shielding ritual that blocks Vivekar's influence. The same ritual that saved your father. But it's taken a lot out of you. And the difference for me, it's like night and day. I just can't believe I let that monster make me do those terrible things. I'm sorry. I... I'm... I'm going to lock myself in the brig until we reach a port. I don't trust myself. Yeah, understandable. You suffer me. Lorana. My child, my apprentice, Jedi. So, you have robbed me of a most promising student. As if that will delay the inevitable. You Jedi are an endless source of amusement. We meet at last, Plague Master. You know nothing of me. But I know all about your order. Once... I serve the Jedi Council blindly, as you do. There is no emotion, only peace. I believed, but the teachings of the Dark Lord Terek Morridge showed me the error of my ways. Thousands of years ago, Morridge's hatred nearly crushed the Jedi. That is true power. I already know how to stop the plague. You mean your shielding technique? The Jedi do love repeating their mistakes. You know how the originator of that technique died, don't you? He sacrificed too much of himself and perished nameless. Everyone I have ever touched could fall to this plague. You cannot shield them all. What if I use my shielding technique on you? My power is already beyond your comprehension, <laughs> and every moment makes me stronger. You are too late. I've already won. Restored Lorana Fade to the light. She's in the brig and won't cause any harm. 
Are you sure, Jedi? I mean, she killed a lot of my people. I'm sure. You're perfectly safe. I trust you. You saved our lives. And if Lorana's in the brig, she should be secure there. I'll report back to Master CO immediately. You should do the same. Once we get the ship back under control, we'll set a course for Coruscant. Thank you for everything, Jedi. just received Bellowin's report. I'm so glad Lorana Fane is shielded and well. Thank you for my daughter's life. I have to go to her. Did you manage to learn anything more about Lord Vivacar, the Plague Master? He claimed that he was once a member of our order. I'm listening. So this scarred man who healed Lorana Fane is Lord Vivacar. Amazing work, Jedi. Still no leads on how to find him, but we do know more about his plague. So what do we do? What happens now? I wish I had better news, but the situation has worsened. Two more Jedi Masters have now gone silent. In their last transmissions, both Masters said, The darkness is coming. One Master was on Alderaan, the second on Tatooine. You must go to these worlds and investigate, quickly. It may be a false alarm. I hope so. However, both masters were friends with Sin Tycan and Duras Fane. May the Force be with you on Tatooine and Alderaan. Good luck. You don't need to purge anything. This sense of shame is all in your mind. The scorekeeper's herald should witness such an act of reverence. Just one moment, Jedi. Holiday's latest viral safeguards need to upload. Quite a weighty update this week. <laughs> mm-hmm. Someone's been busy. I should give this my full attention. Good night. Ah, Holiday. You are unique indeed. You and Holiday clearly care for each other. Naturally. She's proof that science and beauty can coexist. Her former owner never appreciated Holiday's potential. That's a hot for you. Holiday's last owner was a hot then. Glorzo, his name was. He collected rare technology, but he thought Holiday was just a novelty hologram. Imagine. I made a generous offer, but some scavenger had already struck a deal for her. So, Glorzo saw the chance for a little fun. What happened then? Glorzo proposed a contest. The scavenger and I would head into the Val asteroid field, hopefully surviving more than two minutes. The first to bring back a stone from the Rukabi major asteroid would win Dear Holiday. 
Holiday isn't in the scavenger's hands, so I can guess how it ended. I had the last laugh. Clever piloting is no match for knowing certain navigational algorithms. I got the stone, returned days before the scavenger, and exchanged it for Sweet Holiday. So you heroically rescued Holiday from the grip of a cruel hut and won her heart. Someday it'll make an excellent holo novel. Ah, but what's the past to the present? And we have things to do. Council sees you've arrived on Tatooine. Good. We can't waste any time. Tatooine is a vast desert world where survival is often precarious. Master Eris Vassen, one of the Jedi's best cultural explorers, was there when he dropped out of contact with the Council. What exactly does a cultural explorer do? The Jedi Council relies on people like Master Eris to develop relationships with the varied cultures of the galaxy. He can understand and adapt to even the most strange and violent societies. If this illness has claimed him, it would be a great loss to the Jedi Order and threaten the groups he was sent to study. Any idea where I should begin my search? Eris hired a guide to help him navigate Tatooine's treacherous deep desert and make contact with its residents. One of Master Eris's last reports was that his guide had developed the Sand Rot, an illness caused by prolonged repeated desert exposure. The guide's name is Rowan Delk, and he is currently recuperating at the Dreviat Outpost Medical Center. He's your best lead. Ah, ruined. Consider it done. Work quickly. Master Ares is vital to the Order. And if he has this plague, well, you, more than any of us, know what that means. Mm -hmm. Not kind of sure what that means, though. <laughs> Tomorrow.